Hi everyone, I'm Chris. Welcome to another Airsoft Equipment Review. Um, today we take a look at this little bit kit right here. This is, a, this is the Emerson Chinese uh, it's a copy of the Aimpoint Comp M2 red dot sight. Uh, with the, uh, comes with a mount. Uh, uh, Airsoft Park sent this over to me to uh, have a look at, uh, to do a quick review on it. Um, I've skirmished it already, took it out to a game last uh, last weekend and uh, put a few rounds through my TM Scarrel here, uh, which obviously has the recoil system and I wanted to make sure that it could handle that. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of airsoft optics when it comes to any recoil on the weapons that will just kill the wiring on the inside and I wanted to make sure that, you know, it can at least get through a whole day's, uh, whole day's skirmishing, putting a few rounds through an EBB gun or a GBB gun even. And actually survive. I mean, in the long term, how will it hold up? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, it seems fine so far. So positive start. But uh, let's uh, move the camera around, and I'll take a bit of a more close in, detailed view of some of the features of the scope. Okay. So looking in a little bit closer detail, um, we'll go over the, the real basics first. Just the, the sort of aesthetic appearance of it. The actual paint finish on it is quite nice. I like I like the tan colouring on it. Um, it's it's a nice it's a nice flat, dark earth type colour. Nice flat um, matte sort of khaki tan colour, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's not a lot of these Chinese products can tend to be sort of have quite a shiny paint, but this one's good. It, it looks nice. The uh, trademarks there. You got your little aim point trade Comp M2 4 MOA. Not much, not much need for that, but it yeah, makes a nice, nice change. Um, the mount, uh, it does a job really. Doesn't you know what, what you want from a mount is to bridge the gap between the optic and and the rifle, and uh, and the mount works. Um, as I say, I, I used it on uh, on my TM rifle here, and uh, that does have a bit of a bit of a kick to it. It does shake it around. Which tan can tend to uh, cause issues when it comes to screw threads, like the one on the, the thumb screw on the mount there. And they stayed on the rifle just fine. No problems with that. Features wise, you've got it's actually a red and green dot sight. As you see, you've got you've got two settings of red, two settings of green, and they, they do work quite nicely. Zeroing it, put your uh, elevation up here. Windage, Ooh, excuse me. Windage is done by this dial just here. You just uh, unscrew these, and they're retained by the little rubber cover there. And then they, you'll you'll need a flathead screwdriver just to adjust and get you zero. And that all works quite nicely, which is good for quite a, uh, a, a cheaply priced optic. Scope covers, nice and simple. Flip up, easy as that. Protect your lenses when it's not in use, obviously. The actual the view through the glass is nice. I'm impressed. You know, a lot of these are. Uh, it's nice and clear. You're getting a bit of reflection on the video here, but that's because it's. Um, I'm putting. I'm looking through a through a couple of lenses with a camera. It's it's not. It's not nearly that bad in real life. I have to say. Switching it on. There we go. Nice clear red dot. It's actually quite a bit brighter than that when you're looking through with your own eyes, but it is nice and concise, nice and clear, neat. Not a loads of flaring coming out of it, which is really you know, one of the key things you're going to want to look for. Um, one of the big problems is now it's quite bright out here right now, even though you know it is the winter, um, the sun's setting. You've got a really low sun angle, and that can be a l big problem with a lot of red dot optics. The, the red just washes right out. But this is handling handling it nicely. A lot of a lot of these cheap clone optics, the, the dot, um, the reticule will just basically vanish. Like it'll be fine indoors or in the dark, but then as soon as you take it outside in any daylight, it just absolutely washes out and vanishes, and you, and you can't see it at all. So um, again, I'll put the I'll put the actual URL where you can go and look at them down in the description. 
So, uh, but yeah, it handles that daylight very well, and you also you don't get a big reflection of your face in the glass. Now, a lot of the cheap EOTEX will do that, and all you'll see when you're trying to get a sight picture is your own face looking back at you. Um, here's me. <laughs> but yeah, this this does a very nice job of that, I have to say. Nice. The, the good thing about the aim points compared to the EOTEX is they are that little bit more simplistic, but in a good way and it just makes them a bit more reliable, a bit more functional to my mind. Packaging when it turns up, probably should have covered this earlier, but yeah, as you can see, Emerson, nice and bubble box. But I, I like to highlight this purely for the fact that if something is very cheaply packaged, then it's not likely to arrive with you in good condition. You see, it comes with cleaning cloth, it's uh, nicely wrapped up, secured, and what I do like to see is they put the old, uh, the old silica gel desk in there, so rather than sitting in a damp, dusty warehouse for months, it's not gonna, you're not gonna end up with loads of moisture getting all up inside your electronics there, which would obviously ruin it. Also comes with, uh, got your Allen key there for taking off the mount, which is a nice little addition. Mounting to the rifle, that all works perfectly fine. Goes on your standard wrist rails, no problem. Like I say, I use this for a uh, use this uh, skirmish game, and uh, you know it does the job I'd expect an optic to do. It uh, the mount goes nice and securely onto the rail. You, you get your zero in, and uh, you know no reflections. Nice bright, clear red dot, or the green, obviously, if if, uh, if you prefer to use that colour. And you get your targets nice and quick. With these with these optics nice quick sight picture attainment and uh, and you put your rounds down it's not the lightest compared to a t1 probably weighs a bit more um, so that, that, that you do notice the slight difference in the weight on you on your weapon overall when you're carrying it but you know you're always going to get that with any optic and the, like I say, the good thing about these aim points is, yes, they maybe they're not the fanciest looking, um, and it is just a plain red dot. It's not like an EOTech where you get a, you get like a circle with a dot in the middle of it and little flashes and flanges and whatever sticking out the side of it. It's just a nice simple red dot. You get your zero. You put that on the target. You pull the trigger. Target hit. Easy, simplistic. That you know. And for a few extra grams, I think that's worth worth doing so yeah um, overall quite happy I have to say uh, there's um, there's gonna be a little discount code down in the description for um they'll get you five dollars off your order with Airsoft Park uh, cheers to those guys for, for sending over the optic for me to have a look at it um, and uh, overall yeah if, if you're after a nice cheap simple optic to put on your Airsoft rifle um, then this does the job so cheers for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.